Welcome to HDB President's Tech View, another episode. Um, in this episode, I'll show you guys uh, how to create SQL Server Maintenance Plan, which is called Auto Backup. Most of the organization, they uh, do SQL Server Maintenance Plan Backup, and also they have some other backup tools. They use other backup tools also, but SQL Server Maintenance Plan Backup is called a SQL Native Backup. So today I will show you how you how you can um, configure SQL Server Maintenance Plan, or you can say SQL Server Native Backup, or you can say SQL Auto Backup. So let's get started. So you see here, I have a two node database which is uh, in always an environment. Um, I have created already uh, four node SQL Server always on uh, availability group cluster environment. And I have a complete video for all of them configuration. And also I had a, another video, uh, how you can how you can remove um, database from your existing uh, always on environment. And also how you can add a new database with, with the always on availability group. And also I showed on that video, uh, like how you can remove um, a, a SQL node from the existing cluster. So um, both videos link I'll put on the description box. Plus um, I have a video for if for some reason you don't, you didn't take a backup, um, for any database, or maybe you set it up the database backup, but for some reason it didn't take the backup, and you wasn't able to check. And after you, whenever you logged in, you saw like the transition log build up, and your drive is shows full. In that case, how you can clean up your transition log, and how you can shrink the database. So the, I have a complete video for that, and I'll I will also share that video link, um, on the description box. Anyway, so now uh, in this video, I want to show you how you can create a maintenance plan backup. Now, maintenance plan backup, when you take a backup every time, it goes to the local, uh, local, local drive. So you can take a backup, you can configure a maintenance plan backup in your local drive, or you can create a maintenance plan backup in a shared drive. So which one is best or which one is better? It's a different, different answer from like based on your like um, point of view. So if you think I need a, a faster transaction, you can do it locally. But in some case, say for example, you want to restore it from this SQL server is went down or the complete database crash. You take a backup locally, but you're complete hard drive crash or your complete Windows Server crash. In that case, how are you gonna get it? How are you gonna get it? That's the problem. But if you take a backup in locally, it's gonna be a faster backup because it can have a local access. The backup transaction don't need to go, backup traffic don't need to go outside because it's backing up locally on the local drive. But if you want to take a backup in a shared drive, that means it's an outside of the box. That means outside of the node, outside of the SQL instance. Uh, so in, in, in that time, whenever you take a backup, the backup traffic will needs to be go outside. And maybe that sometimes it can, you know, like poor network performance can be happen. But in overall, for the data security, I can say you should take backup on a shared drive. So in this video, I'll show you how you can take a backup on a shared drive. So nowadays, uh, most of the company, they use some shared storage. which can be maybe uh, say uh, I have Dell EMC ISOLON data store or maybe which is called file server, file, ser file, uh, file store server, and also maybe uh, there can be a, 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 
and are also some uh, company they use um, unity storage or maybe other storage it doesn't matter as as long as you have a storage so you can create a um, assembly share and that share you can add with your all sql node whatever the sql node you want to take a backup so if you think about your origin environment if you, if you look at here i added already a share uh, drive here if you go to the server object backup in my first video i showed actually how you can add a backup drive here new backup drive click here you can add a backup drive here oh sorry uh, just i have already added here i can show you from here uh, you don't need to actually but if you want you can do that i have one here already added just go to the properties. Um, whatever the your store server is, put the store server. Uh, you have to create this path. It's called UNC path. So I'm just copying this one. You can edit like here. Also, you can create a script. Uh, new backup database. I'm going to do the same thing. Uh, do I need to have destination is at the back? You don't need to have a back. Okay, if you want, so you can have a back like this. Okay, just add it. Last time I tried to add it like this, it's not responding. That's why I don't like it actually. Okay, anyway, I can connect the database here too. Okay, oh. Yes, it's restarted. Oh my goodness. Okay, anyway, just wait a little bit. I'm, I'm going to start on mode number four. The same thing, anyway. Uh, three. Okay. Just only one thing remember whenever, whatever the settings, whatever the configuration you do all the time, make sure you log in on the node. See, right now I logged in this node and I logged in as a SQL admin. So it's a uh, service account. Make sure don't log in with your A account. Don't log in your administrative account because what is the problem? If you set up a backup or maintenance plan with your, your personal administrative account, and if you are not available on the company, like that means if you're not, um, maybe you can quit your job, maybe you can go somewhere, uh, your account is deleted from the system. So in that case, the backup not gonna run. So that's why all the time you should use whatever you do in the configuration, you should use login, you should log in the box with a service account. So I logged in the service account. Uh, let's see it was. Anyway, server object, you can add the object. You see here the way I have here. Anyway, it's not a problem. It's not a matter. Okay, so what are we gonna do? What are we gonna do to create a maintenance plan backup? So I'm going to show you step-by-step step how you're gonna create a maintenance plan backup. And from this one, I just want to check. If you type the path, this is called UNC path, okay. There's a lot of backup, right? It's a lot of backup there. It's fine. I'm not gonna touch anything. Uh, what I'll do, what I will do, so I'm gonna create a folder with the name, the SQL uh, name. Uh, so I'm going to create a folder name, actually with my node name. This is the node. One node, and I'm going to create another folder, new folder, number four, right? Okay, so in this for and you have to make sure your service account has a permission on both properties, security, SQL admin, you see SQL admin has a permission because, because on the mother folder here, in this folder, 
in this folder, it has a, okay, actually I'm not sure. You, can, you see a SQL admin, it has a, if you don't have, you can just go, you said edit, add, and then add the your service account if you don't have the permissions. If your service account doesn't have the permissions, you can say add and add your uh, service account and then click OK, check and click OK. So whenever it shows like this and then click all, check all. So I have here, you see, everything is check mark. I click OK and OK. So whenever this, if this is the parent folder. So inside this, whatever the folder you're going to create, all of them will have the access. So now I have two folder created. So this is my path. This is my UNC path. So just copy it and I'm going to minimize it. Now come back here. Actually, this is this, it, it doesn't matter if you have this one or not. As long as you have a UNC path created, like on your shared drive, that's fine. If you have the location. So just um, notepad. I'm just opening a notepad. My computer is a little bit slow. Okay. I'm just pasting here because uh, I need it. I need this link. All right. So I'm going to start the backup process. Configure the backup process. So you can create two backup. One is for full backup. One is for transaction log backup. And some case, maybe you need a differential backup. So this video is not for a complete DBA, but this will help uh, the system admin because as a system admin, whatever the application you guys are using, maybe you don't need differential backup, transition log and full backup is enough. But you, you're gonna do, you can do the same thing. Like you just need to add more, one more options. So that way I'm going to configure. So go to the, um, go to the ma management for configuring the maintenance plan, go to the management, expand the management, and then you're gonna see the maintenance plan and under uh, expand it, you, then it's not going to show anything because there is no maintenance plan created. So right click on it, you can say maintenance plan wizard, run with this. It's a little slow, a little slow because it should become more fast. Okay, yeah, anyway, next. And then you can give a name, maintenance plan. So usually I do, what I do is I can say that uh, ways Underscore F U double O full B S C K U P backup then any under understood and maintenance plan. That's it. So all database. Actually, my plan is to take all database in a single schedule for entire plan. Select this one and by default is selected and schedule it. Okay, change. And then this is the schedule for your full database backup for all databases in your uh, instance. Now, which day? How many backup, full backup you need? It's up to you. Maybe you can take Sunday, one backup, full backup, and one day, one full backup. It's up to you. Then and it depends on your organization, depends on your application requirements. Maybe you have, say, for example, you have 50 databases. All 50 databases, maybe you don't need to take a full backup like twice. Maybe once a week is fine. In that case, you have to do separate configuration. But maximum case, if it is not a database oriented means, if it is not a bank, if it is not an insurance company, if it is not a financial company, in that case, just for the application, you have it, maybe you can have a 100 SQL server or maybe 100 database, it doesn't matter, but maybe all of the 100 database is using for application. In that case, you don't need full, like too many full backup, one backup is enough. So Sunday, usually people take Sunday backup because uh, Friday, Saturday, some of the case, sometimes most of the company, they have like maintenance Friday after hours or Saturday after hours. But Sunday, most of the case, no work. So you can take Sunday. And even though the, if there's, uh, there's no office day, like the, no business hours, in that case, anytime you can take start backup. So you can say 6 a.m., uh, sorry, 6 p.m. you can start. 6 p.m. And that's it. So just check mark. Again, it's not been that you have to do it Sunday. It's up to you, up to your organization. So I choose six sun, sun, Sunday at 6 p.m. and click OK. 
So schedule is done and I provide the name, click next. And now you need to choose what you want. So check database integrity, you should have it. And rebuild index, you need it. And clean up history, you need it. Clean up history and backup database full. And you can configure all of them together in one, but I don't recommend you. For differential, you can do the separate backup. You can do the separate, okay? And clean up. And this one, clean up. Click next, okay? Now, just only one thing you need to move, which is the backup database full. Move up, move up, move up. Okay, that's it. And click next. All right, so now you need to select the database. So I can say, uh, take all the database in common, all database backup. So it's gonna be backup your all database plus your master, your uh, system database, everything. And one thing you should do it, don't forget about it. This one, make a check mark on here because ignore database when the state is not online. That means what, if any database is not online, in that case, don't try to take it back. That's what it's mean. Skip it, okay? Ignore it, okay. And now, destination. So the destination, I have the destination, right? Which is my UNC path. Which is my UNC path. This is the, my UNC path, right? Copy and paste it here, okay. Okay, here, so it's gonna go. And also make sure, because if you work with the multiple database, in that case, if you are just creating a, a, you select not like all, you select a specific one database, in that case, you don't need to check mark this one. But if you select multiple database at a time, then check this one, create a subdirectory for each database. And backup file extension, of course, is back, right? It's full backup. And then option, third tab. The option, make sure you change it to compress backup. And then backup set will expire. Don't click anything here. And from this five options, check mark only this one and this one. Perform checksum and continue on error. And also for this one, for availability database, ignore replica priority for backup and backup on primary settings. So that means if you have a, uh, so we have a two node always on, right? So one of the node will be primary and another one is just a secondary, right? So if any, you can have maybe four node, you can have maybe a six node cluster. So one node will be primary, take that one back, back up, but other node, you can uh, ignore it. That's why it says ignore the replica priority. And click next. Okay, now define the database check integrity. The same thing, all database, and then ignore, okay and take out the physical only, just uncheck it, uh, and keep the check mark on include index. And we don't need to have any schedule because we are using same schedule. Click next. And then now define rebuilding index tag. Select all database and ignore. Okay, it's the same as, and just check mark on here. Keep index online. That's it, nothing else. And click next. And in here, define history cleanup. So every four weeks, you can clean up the history. That's fine. If you want, and if your company have a different policy, you can increase the week or you can decrease the week. It's up to you. Like I leave it uh, default, which is for four weeks. That means one month. Click next. And then define the maintenance cleanup task. So maintenance cleanup task, by default, everything is selected 
on the folder side, what I need to, so I need to just put, provide the UNC path where I'm saving the uh, backup, right? And file extension, file extension, now a question because it, it's gonna be a, a full backup. So full backup extension is dot back, right? And uh, transaction log backup extension is dot TRN and differential backup is dot BAK, right? So differential and full backup extension is same. And transaction log extension is TRN. But if you put all the backups in the same folder, because everything gonna be, right now our full backup is going here, right? So later on, I'm gonna set up transition log and I'm gonna put the same location. That means dot back and dot TRN gonna be in the same folder. So this is the cleanup job. How are you gonna clean up the older data? If it is more than four weeks or if it is more than two weeks, how are you gonna clean up? You have to mention the extension. So you cannot say dot back slash dot TRN. You cannot say like that. So if you have a multiple extension and if you want to run a cleanup job, so what you should do, you can say star. What are you gonna say? Star. What do you need to do? Star. And then say include first level subfolder. So if you inside this location, if we have multiple folder, it will also delay from there too. That's why you should add like this. And this is the delayed file based on the age of the file at task run time. And this is the age you've mentioned. So if you mention two weeks, that means if whenever this job is gonna be run, it's gonna check two weeks data. If it is if it is found more than two weeks data, it will delay it. That's what it means. Now click next. Okay, now write a report. So for report, usually what I do, I create another folder here. What I do, I've created another folder or maybe or maybe outside, you can create a folder outside here. All report you can put in the same folder. A report. Or you can say SQL report, whatever. So that means what? This is a different, different path, right? Copy it and go back here. Okay. It's going to be text file report, right? Click next and finish. All right, all are done successfully. All are success and close. Close, okay. Now, if you refresh it, you're gonna see here eh, your maintenance plan here. Now right click on it, go to the maintenance plan, new user, click next. And you can say, here and SSC, TI1 transaction, underscore log, underscore maintenance plan, okay. So if it is a differential, you can just do differential, that's it. Single schedule and do the schedule. So how are you gonna create this one? So if it's a differential, maybe you can say daily or maybe you can say weekly, maybe one backup on Monday, one backup on Tuesday and fix the time, right? You can select like this, like this, right? Maybe Sunday you don't need because Sunday you have it. If it is a differential, if it is a differential, but I'm not taking differential, I'm just explaining. If it is differential, I weekly you can select like this and skip Sunday because Sunday you have a full backup, right? Or you can create in the different time, Sunday also, it's not gonna harm you. Like not in the same time, maybe different time you can have a, a differential backup. But now we are not working with the differential backup. We are going for a transition log backup. So for transition log backup, actually you need more frequent log backup. So that means what if you need daily and daily, not only daily, what do you need? 
daily, not one time. You need daily multiple time, right? Occurs every hours or maybe every 15 minutes. It's up to you, minutes. Say for example, every five minutes. I'm just selecting five minutes. It's up to you, up to your database uh, application demand. Usually if it is a monitoring tools database or if it is a beam backup database or if it is other application database, just like every eight hours, that means every day for transition like backup is enough. Now it's up to you, up to your application demand, application requirement. So just for demonstration, I'm selecting five minutes. Every five minutes, it will take a transition log backup. Okay. So I'm click. Uh, I'm clicking OK. And click Next. Now it's going to ask you what kind of backup. It's going to be a transition log backup, right? We just selected a schedule, but we didn't configure the transition log yet. So backup database transition log, this one. Select this one. And for this one, you don't need to select the check integrity or any other thing, nothing you need. And no need maintenance plan, uh, cleanup task because we already set up cleanup job with our full backup. So that cleanup job will clean everything. Click next. Okay, click next. And now here you need to select the same way, all database and ignore, okay. Selected destination, you know the destination, right? So you know the destination path, which is our UNC path. It's oh, sorry, it's not a strong one. It's gonna, it should be this one, right? Everything is gonna go this way uh, on the folder. So it's not in the report. Okay, let me let me take a report because for report, we're gonna put the same folder. Okay, report. Okay, so this one is for I need here. And then TRN is already there and make sure create a sub directory and option this two and here compress and that's it. And make sure you're here because if it is a always on database then click here and click next. And for this one, so we have the UNC path for this one report, right? And copy and you can pass it here. Click next and finish. All right, it's done and close it. So refresh it. We have this, we have this, right? And now we don't have any backup there, right? So in here, we don't have anything. Oh, make sure, because you see here, the cleanup job, we provide this path. That means it's gonna clean up under this folder. If you have a multiple folder here, it's gonna clean up all. But if it is outside of this, but the report is in outside of this report, not gonna clean up. So you can, you can if you want, you can change a little bit with that, double, double click on it. You're gonna see the, on the right side, it's gonna show you. Why is taking too long? You shouldn't. So in your real environment, it's not gonna be that slow, that much slow, okay. All right, so in here, I want to actually copy this one, copy this one, and okay. Okay, see it's full backup, check the integrity, rebuild index, cleaning up history, maintenance program, clean up. So for the maintenance plan cleanup, you see here, instead of this, if you say like this, just up to here. So under SQL DB, if there is any kind of folder, it's gonna be delete. And also file extension, you put extension. So whatever the extension is found, is gonna be delete. That's what I just said, maybe to create like this, okay. So you save and close it and say save, yes. So everything is saved. Now we're gonna test it. How are we gonna test it? Because now it's not a 6 p.m. How are you gonna how are you gonna check it? So if you extend, if you extend the SQL Server agent, and there is a job. See here, full backup job and log backup job. So for full backup job, 
and love Gaga, take a full backup. It's going to take a time, but anyway, start job. So it's running. It's running. You have to wait. It's going to take full backup of your all database. It's like I have four databases is created by my application plus I have a system database. So it's going to take all system database plus my uh, existing database. And you're going to see here the change. You're going to see the change here. So if you log in, go to the inside, you see, it's already created a folder. I didn't create this folder. It's created automatically because I said create a subfolder, right? Or when I configure it, that's why it's created. But now it's going to, you see, it's already back up. It has already a back. So let's come back here. Let's see performance. Okay. So this one is I'm manually running the backup because uh, I schedule the time, but the time is not, I'm not on that time right now. It's 2.56 PM, but I schedule it for 6 PM. There's still three more hours I need to get an automatic backup. That's why I'm running manual backup to test. All right, so the full backup job is done. And another thing is I don't need to run manually transaction log because it's set up with five minutes interval, right? Uh, five minutes interval. So we already run more than five minutes. That's why it's automatically backed up. So I don't need to actually. Uh, I just need to change. This one, like you can say transaction log for your understanding. Okay, nothing else. Everything will be same. All right. So every five minutes, uh, sorry, every five minutes is taking backup for transaction log. So left. And also with this one, with this one, we have a cleanup job, right? And you can see, remember the cleanup, cleanup history. Okay, let's go a little bit down, a little bit down, a little bit down. It's slow. Just give it a second. It's gonna okay. Okay, it's ready now. Um, you see the maintenance from cleanup job. And I said SQL, SQL DV, and also included first level subfolder. So whatever the extension is gonna be removed, right? It can be tax or it can be back it or it can be TRM. So let's go and check it out. What's going on? So on the SQL, you see here, my cleanup job already clean up. When I we logged in there before, we had a lot of backup here, right? If you guys can remember, we had a lot of backup here. So if you want to prove it, you can just um, go back and check the uh, the video of the uh, like beginning of the video then you can see actually i had a lot of old backup here so when i run this job with my full backup and the cleanup job also run and the cleanup job already clean the old data here you see here nothing a lot of the files is already deleted and and also it's created a report here individually and every 5 seconds you see here Every five seconds is creating a backup, like transition log backup. And if you look at on this one, each and every four, you see here, one full backup and all are transition log. And all transition log is every five minutes. See here, four, nine. That means in between is five minutes. Three or four, three or nine. So five minutes, every five minutes is taking backup. It's up to you. It's every five minutes or every 10 minutes or every hour or every eight hours or every four hours or every 12 hours. Up to you. Up to your application requirements. All right. So this is how we can create. So now automatically backed up. 
I don't need to be worried about it. It's called an auto backup through the maintenance plan. And now if you want to configure backup for your other node, you're gonna do the same thing, right? You're gonna do the same thing, maintenance plan here, and then expand it, right click, say new user the same way, just only what you're gonna change, the path, you can see path, you see here, the folder. So we created a folder here for four nodes. If you have a 10 node, if you have a 20 node, just create 20 folder like this and change the path and just copy the path like this. Now this is gonna be new path for the other one. That's it, nothing else. So same way you're gonna do the backup for this. I think you guys enjoyed and you guys learned from this video is simple, easy, step-by-step -step maintenance plan backup. And I prove it like backup is uh, happening and we check already on the location, share location. Everything is going there, right? And also we check the cleanup job, cleanup job already clean. If it is older than two weeks based on our schedule, right? All right, thank you. Thanks for watching. And if you are new in my channel, please subscribe my channel. And if you like this video, and if you think you, you learned something, please give a big thumbs up and also share this video with your friends and colleagues. Maybe they will get, uh, they will learn some new things. All right, thank you. Thanks for watching.